for TV. It's made to be out there, be an, be an athlete. He, he's a natural athlete, genetically, and not just genetically, but he works for it too. But it's all, it's that's just a genetically gifted body right there, man. That's just ridiculous. And since we saw him against uh, Jason Guidia, uh, he had uh, a fight on May 15th where he beat Mike Cook in a first round uh, guillotine chokehold and MFC 21 hard knock. So he continues to develop. Very, very nice uh, fella. Saw him with his family today, having a little bit of lunch. A cool customer coming to the ring. Yeah, definitely a super nice guy out of the ring, man. In the ring, though, different story. <laughs> it's all business in there. Yeah, and hey, pivotal fight for Bobby Lashley. Pivotal fight. The guy wants to take MMA very seriously. He wants to be known as an MMA fighter, not a WWE fighter. Well, this is a pivotal fight, because if he loses that fight, if he loses this fight to Bob Sapp, um, it might derail him just a little bit. So this is an important fight for him. He knows it. Meanwhile, Bob the Beast Sapp has uh, 10 victories, uh, three losses, one draw. He has seven knockouts. He likes the bull rush. He's a huge striker. Six of his last seven fights, he stopped his opponents with strikes, basically punches. 11 of his last 12 fights were first round stoppages. Here he comes in and is, uh, he comes in this song every single fight. It's ridiculous. He's got a tremendous personality. He's a real showman. An absolute legend in Japan. And Seth, you fought him in Japan and get an idea of just what a legend he is. Yeah, dude, I walked around on the streets. I saw life-size cardboard cutouts of him all over the place. Like, I couldn't go two blocks without seeing a cutout of, of Bob Sapp. It's ridiculous. He endorses every single commercial there, pretty much. Pizzas, some X-rated products that we probably shouldn't list. I, I asked him, how many products are you endorsing? He said, something around 400. That's, that's 400 crazy. endorsements. Wow. Can you imagine the money this guy's making? Yeah, it's, it's pretty must be nice. Bob the Beast Sap, and you have an opportunity to see him. Glad that you can be with us. Thanks to the distribution of Doug Jacobs and Integrated Sports. You're watching a pay-per-view across the United States and all around the world. We're thrilled to have you. Yeah, this guy's larger than life all over the world. Like you say, in Japan, they've got cardboard cutouts of him all over the streets. Um, what do you say? He just got an invitation to the White House? Yeah, he, he said that uh, amongst the, all kinds of other things. Well, we're set to go. Let's make it official. Let's get the official introductions with our ring announcer, J.D. Lyons. Once again, Fight Fans Prize, Fight MMA, and Fight Force International in association with Treasure Bay Casino is proud to be involved with this and along with MMAclothing.com, Slamwear, First Hand Tickets, Buffalo Wild Wings, FullTiltMoger.net, and of course, Integrated Sports and Everlast Worldwide. Fight Fans, here we go, the moment we have all been waiting for, here is our main events of the evening! Let the beatings commence. Introducing first your referee in charge of the action, Houston Dorr. And now, fight fans. Introducing the fighter in the blue corner, wearing black, weighing in at 255 and a half pounds of muscle, here is Bobby Lashley! His opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white with black, and really needing no introductions, as I said before, here is the one and only 322 pounds! And Bob Sapp! Once again, your referee, Houston Dorr, to give the fighters a final instruction. Okay, gentlemen, y'all know the rules. And this is my command all the time. Let's keep it clean. Got any questions? Touch club, go back to your corner. All right, folks. Here Get your seatbelts on for this one. Here we go. It's Bob Sapp in the white trunks, in the black trunk, trunks is Bobby Lashley. Good, are you sure this cage can hold them if they come bowling toward us? Uh, we'll be all right. Here we go. It's Sapp coming at Lashley. Lashley shoots, tries to pick him up, and does. He gets him down on the canvas. Bob Sapp holds the head in, and is Lashley going to crack at him with the right hand. Now the left hand's 
come down. How about this? He takes him right down where he doesn't want to be. He's in a, sort of a half open guard, but he might just want to be full monitors. The right hands are coming down, cracking out of the head of Bob Sapp. Yeah, uh, Sapp actually doing a good job of getting the shit at least across Lash's stomach a little bit to try to get space, but I don't think it matters at this point. Lash is too powerful. He's just hammer fisting his way in. Yeah, actually, you know, Lash was saying all week how he's going to stand up with Sapp, stand up and show off his boxing. He knows where his bread and butter is. Beautiful double leg takedown, ground and pound. Well, he, he tries to get that leg over there. He's in the half guard now. And he doesn't seem to want to pass it because he's got enough room to rain down with his elbows, coming down with the fist. He opens up that, that guard a little bit, does Bob Sapp, and he's uh, taking some punishment right now. Yeah, now look at this. Lashley trying to grab that wrist. Is he? No, I thought he was going to try to go for some sort of submission, but now he's back to finding it again. Yeah, he was grabbing his wrist, just, I think, just trying to move it out of the way to try to rain down some more punches and stuff like that. But Lashley was probably saying that just so Sapp would think that he was going to stand with them and not expect the shot. And then Lashley goes in for the shot. Well, this isn't exactly where Bob Sapp wants to be, but... It's exactly what Lashley said to us that he would try to do, wear him down, break him down, get him tired, and then take advantage of him. Was that Sapp looking for the underhook there? I mean, Sapp in a half guard here, not doing a half bad job on his back. I'm very surprised. Not half bad or half good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, the elbow came down that time. He's trying to grab the wrist to stop him from really getting cracked. As he grabs the left wrist, he gets hit with the right hand, and then the left elbow comes down. Sapp, look, I can't see if he's getting there. He's still in half guard. Yeah, he's getting the half guard. He's rolling that hip, trying to get out there as best he can. Seth might be see a half guard sweep or maybe a tuck and get tuck, something like tuck to a knee ball. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but, uh, but if he keeps fighting for that left hand for the underhook, it's, it's what he should be doing, which is good. But uh, I mean, the crowd doesn't understand last season. I mean, doing, doing his game plan. He wants to stay in half guard. He wants to keep ground and pounding. So it's what, what he's got to do. Yeah, the crowd would, would be much happier if they got up on their feet and just uh, blasted the daylights out of each other. But that isn't the best way for Lashley to win this fight. Sapp would love it if they get back up. But he's doing a decent job holding him off. He's getting some damage doled out to him, but not the big, big shot that could end this fight. Right, just just, just wearing him down. I think, I mean, Sapp will get, will get winded just in this position, so... Maybe that's he's not really trying to pass the guard, although I just noticed that he had the heels kind of hooked around the ankle of uh, Lashley, so Lashley couldn't go it out, but he's still able to rain down plenty of punishment from this position. Yeah, Sapp, so he's taking a little bit of a deal here. Very, oh, he's Very heavy. He's tapping. He just tapped. Did he tap? Yeah, he did tap. Yeah, he did tap. But, then, uh, but the referee didn't see it. Yeah, I think he just tapped. Now, let's see how much more punishment. Now he taps. That's it. He's had enough. Bobby Lashley, he had to tap. He tapped about 30 seconds earlier, and all the damage done to the left eye of Bob Sapp. I think he just lost the contact. I think he's he's, he's, he's fighting with contact lenses, and he's crazy. Yeah. Man, I wear contact lenses, and I wouldn't want to be taking any shots in the eyes or in contact lenses. Well, we expected uh, a little more fireworks from the standing position, but for Bobby Lashley, the progression continues. Here he is taking a huge man down using his wrestling skills and then grounding and pounding him into submission. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much what the game plan should have been anyway, and I think that's what was, was his game plan the entire time. I don't think he ever had any plans of standing and boxing with him whatsoever. No, that's, that was the mind game. You know, he, he told everybody who would listen, I'm going to stand and bang with Bob Sapp. I've been working on my hands. We're going to go out there and slug it out. The bell rings, not two or three seconds in, Bob Sapp is on his butt. Now, let's be, be clear. As you see the first tap, we'll be able to show you this on the replay, and you pick it up. And here's the tap that the ref did not see. Getting pounded, and it's pretty much clear as day that he's tapping. Yeah, how did he not see that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, ref didn't see it, and then Lashley just said, hey, I got to do it again, and did. And there's the real tap. <laughs> well, both were real taps, and here might this tap that uh, uh, the ref didn't see that one either. I'm sorry. I think that was the, the, the original one. Yeah, yeah. from a so, different, angle, different it angle. looked like it, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, then Oh, the ref pretty much just called it then, so he didn't tap. The ref just stepped in there pretty much, and he tapped as Wait, the ref We're going to see in. that again because I thought he tapped the second time, and I... I think the ref stopped it, and as the ref was stopping, he started to tap at the same time. 
Maybe either way, not, either way, he wanted the fight done. Yeah, one half does the other, you know. Yeah. Okay, here we are. We'll pick it up again. We'll watch it with you folks at home. Lost you right on the punches. Yeah. Bang! Real hard shot that time. He's in trouble now. For yeah, there's sure. a tap. There's, there's a tap. Okay, so yeah. the, he did tap. Kind of tapped right. the back of his hand there. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that was that was the end of the fight. The first replay we had for you was the first tap, and then we showed you a second. Uh, it was the same angle, but it was a, definitely a tap. So it's submission by uh, punches and a, and a, a tap on. So a terrific first round victory for Bobby Lashley. Our ring announcer standing by. Let's make it official as we go to J.D. Lyons. J.D. is uh, getting set now, uh, moving into position and. And I and I know that you hear, you heard everything I know, I know. Yeah. every single day. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing shots. I am marvelous. You said you were going to go out. You said you weren't going to conserve any energy. You said it was going to be lights out. What, what are you thinking right now? Oh, I tell you, I, I, when I went out there, I thought I was going to get him. I, I, I saw he was slowing down a little bit. He actually got a good shot right there on my eye, and so I was unable to see exactly when it, when the, uh, after getting to some of those punches in there. But uh, I was being able to take some of the punishment. As you can see, I was still alive. So, but uh, got me in the eye. You got a very, very, very busy schedule, yeah. traveling, movies, all this other stuff you're doing. Did that affect your training at all? Uh, it can it affect your training? Yes, but uh, no excuses. Hey, he got me down today. He controlled it. Let's give it up for Bobby Lashley. Let's do that. Bob Sapp, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> And I'm here with Bobby Lashley now. Bobby, our winner. Bobby, talk to us. <laughs> well, you know, going out there with somebody like Bob, you got to be prepared. I was expecting him to throw those big blows. I just wanted to get him down. I mean, Bob's a class act, man. He's a really good showsman. I knew I'd go out there and take him down, cover him, keep him flat, and pound him. That was our game plan. And I stuck with it and uh, went out successful. I think we saw a little bit of a version of your rope-a-dope this week. You were telling everybody you could tell that you were going to stand and bang, you were going to stand and bang, that you wanted to display your skills. What happened? The first thing you need to go out there and do is win. Uh, we were going to go ground and pound him for a little while, hoping that he was going to push off, because we've seen a lot of his fights where he pushed off at the end, and then when he pushed off, we were going to stand with him and drop him then. you got to wear the big man down. He has a strong punch, and we didn't want to go head up with him right away. We have other matches that we can test our stand-up, and, and that's our next match in the match after that. But this one, go in there, ground the pound, get a quick win, and get out of here. I've had a couple opportunities to talk to you this week about your camp. You, you've got a great boxing coach with Mike. You've been training with American Top Team, a lot of black belts. Everybody's there. Talk to us a little bit about your training and what's going to happen next for you. Well, I tell you what, each match I'm getting better. I know there's a lot of heavyweights out there that are... Rising to the top, some of them are already at the top. If you're not looking at me now, you better look at me because I'm coming. I'm taking on anybody. We're taking on all challenges right now and keep moving up. Our camp, American top team, greatest in the world. Conan, um, these guys, Mike Rose, my boxing trainer, we worked hard for this fight. And you know, it's no time to take off. Monday, we're right back to ATT, right back hitting it, looking for the next fight. Hopefully we can get one soon. How many fights before you're ready to take that championship belt away from somebody? Still have more tests to go, man. Um, I'm ready, you know. Heavyweights are out there. We're going after them. So I'm just going to keep going. I want to get at least two more this year and then uh, keep moving up. Two more fights this year, folks. Give it up for Bobby Lashley. Thank you and congratulations. Hey, for all you guys, um, Treasure Bay, we're having a after party at Treasure Bay, man. So come out, have a good time, and party with the fighters.